Well, good Friday evening. Uh, I'm anxious to catch up with you as uh, Friday, Good Friday comes to a close. I hope you've had a good day with your family, reflecting and uh, recounting the, um, the events of today as we talk and, and work through this weekend and what Jesus did for us. Um, I didn't want to overlook what the opportunity we have in front of us as parents is this weekend. And so um, if you've been keeping up with us for the past couple of weeks, we've been posting documents online, uh, really kind of type of discussions for you to walk through or go through with your family. And this Sunday, we have an opportunity to talk about the resurrection of Jesus, why God sent his son and really make that very clear and evident for our kids who are at the age where they can understand and make a decision to uh, begin a relationship with Jesus. And as we approach that, I couldn't help but think of uh, just over a year ago when me and Heather had the same opportunity to pray with Kaz. And I'll never forget it was uh, it was at night, it was 9.30, was, we were way late, it was a Friday night, and um, we'd already said our goodnights and went through our nightly routine, and Kaz uh, came and said, hey, um, hey, Dad, I, I, I want to pray, I want to receive Jesus, I want to have Jesus in my heart. And nothing makes you more happier or more proud in that moment. So um, it was okay, and it kind of caught a, caught us off guard. And you know, we've been in ministry for a while, but it's still one of those things where, you're like, am I? Is, are you sure? Like, am I the guy to do this? And and obviously, as a pastor, I am. And I just want to tell you that as a parent, you are too. Whether you're a single mom or a single dad, or you're doing this together, um, and your kids are looking to you for leadership, and you're going to have a phenomenal opportunity to lead your kids in the Believer's Prayer this weekend. And the way that we've set it up for you is um, just to pray like you always do to close. And at the end of that prayer, ask your, your kids which, which and if they believe it. And if they believe, what they're going to be quoting is Romans 10, 9, which says, If you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe that He is your Savior, Savior then you will be saved. And that is really the first step to salvation. It's the beginning to a relationship with Jesus. And what I want to know from you is if, uh, if you or one of your kids pray this prayer and begin a relationship with Jesus, there's two things. One, I'm going to commit to, to walk with you, either myself or somebody from our kids team, where we can establish a relationship with you and your kids and help your kids move forward in their faith. But two, I want to send your kid a Bible. And so regardless of age, we have four different types of Bibles depending on where your kid is at in age. And we're going to trust you and partner with you in this decision. And so... Um, we prefer kids, our kids to be six and up when they make this decision. But if this is something that, um, that you feel like your, your son or your daughter is ready to do, you feel like this is a step they're ready to take, and, they, and, and obviously you know your kids better than we do. And so if that's the case, um, that's just it. We would just love to know. And we would love for you to, to email us at info at liveredefined.com. And in that email, send me or send us your kids' names your preferred mailing address, and the age, and we will send you in return a Bible with some instruction on how they can take their next step spiritually. And so um, I'm anxious for you to lead this week, and I just want to let you know that um, you're in the right place. This is the right time and the right season, and I know that we're in an odd place as parents. Uh, None of us want to be teaching right now because we've got all of the distance learning happening at home, especially for us here in Michigan as we're homeschooling. But uh, your kids need you more now than ever, and we have a greater opportunity on Sunday than we have had as parents in a long time because the whole Easter experience is going to be at our house, unless you're doing something, you know, that you're going to a park or something afterwards. But you're the leader of the Easter experience at your house this year for the full thing, and I'm going to tell you that you got it. You've got it, and I believe in you, and your kids believe in you, and so lead the conversation well. Pray together. Help your child take their next step, and we're going to partner with you as they do that. And uh, I just want to let you know that I'm, I'm anxious for you and I'm excited for you. And we're praying for you in those conversations that are going to be happening in your house on Easter Sunday morning. And so um, you have a day. If you have any questions from now until Sunday morning, then please email me, Dusty, at liveredefined.com. I'm going to answer you and help you and support you and really equip you as best I can to make sure that you're successful on Sunday morning when it comes to leading the Easter conversation with your family. I love you guys. Honored to be doing this right now. It's a, it's just a great time to be in the church and to be believers. And so uh, do it with faith. Be bold and be confident on Easter Sunday. I'll talk to you soon. See you.